Hi there, I'm Christian, and in this PC Answers tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fit a solid state hard drive. This is one we've got here. It's a 40 gigabyte Kingston uh, hard drive, and they on the market these days are about 80 pounds, and it's really good value. Um, and this is what you want to use as a boot drive these days, uh, simply because transfer speeds are really, really quick with solid state drives compared to a traditional hard drive such as this one. And as I say, capacity, because it's 40 gigabyte, it's absolutely ideal as a boot drive uh, rather than all your other data. So that doesn't render the traditional hard drive useless because you, if you have terabytes of uh, movies, photos and music, you'll still want to use one of these uh, to dump your files on. But in terms of a boot drive, it's SSD, uh, which I'm going to show you now. And as you can see here, it's a SATA-based device for power and data. And that is exactly the same interface as you'll be used to on a traditional hard drive. And if I compare the two there, you can see it's exactly the same uh, connections. And obviously what you notice is actually the solid state hard drive is much smaller. This is actually a laptop sized drive. It's a two and a half inch drive, but this is actually for desktops as well. Um, so you can pop one of these uh, straight in your laptop and just replacing uh, that hard drive. But if you want to use it as a desktop drive, uh, they don't come any bigger. This is, this is actually it. This is the right size. So what you do need is a mounting bracket uh, such as this and uh, a typical SSD will come with one of these so you can put it into a three and a half inch drive bay and that's what I'm going to show you now. So I'm just putting in the final screw uh, for the mounting brackets here I'm just going to tighten that one up. Uh, th these are quite fiddly because the screws are actually uh, very short uh, so just give that a, a tighten and there we are and as you can see both mounting brackets are firmly uh, in place um, and even though a solid state hard drive doesn't have any moving parts, uh, you do want it secure in its drive bay. Otherwise, uh, the fan in your machine you know, may move the drive about, even though it's connected, and, and that might knock out one of the SATA cables, and, uh, and then you'll lose uh, some power there. So it is best to keep it tight uh, and slot it into one of your spare uh, three and a half inch drive bays. Now, if you're using this as a boot drive replacement, you'll, you'll want to take out your uh, existing hard drive um, that will have your uh, Windows partition on it and put this in instead. So in this PC here we have the uh, three and a half inch boot drive. We're just going to unplug the SATA power cable so we can take it out of the drive bay. Um, and on this case there, there isn't actually screws to hold this drive in. It's actually a plastic uh, slot loading uh, device so we just need to take that back, unlock and hopefully that will just slide out. So that's our existing uh, boot drive. And now we have our solid state uh, replacement with its mounting brackets. And that simply goes into the same slot. So just line it up with the uh, appropriate metal brackets on the inside. And again, push in. And in with this particular case, once again, it's just a plastic mechanism uh, that you slide back to lock. And you can now see the exposed SATA ports and you'll be ready to uh, put the uh, SATA power and SATA data cables uh, straight back in. Now that the drive is uh, in place and uh, both the SATA power and data cables are connected, you're ready to uh, reinstall Windows uh, onto that drive. Or, if you've removed an old boot drive and you want to actually clone that directly straight onto there, you'll find that most SSDs actually come with some cloning software, or you can buy something like uh, Acronis TrueImage which uh, you can use uh, before you install the SSD to completely copy what's on here and put it onto there once that's installed. We also recommend that if you are uh, installing an SSD, if you can, uh, do leave some space uh, in the drive bays above it. Um, if you want to install another drive, try and find one that uh, uh, leaves a bit of a gap, just to help airflow uh, to keep your system cool.